There we go, all powered up. Let's see, still 500. Why are these not adding to the... Un Darn it, far too close. Um. So solving vanilla traffic problems is really a big issue without all the lovely mods that we love to use. And we've made this situation worse by having a separate island, the Isle of Roy over here. And a lot of people want to get from one side to the other. Now, at the moment, we have this little road underneath that's being used. Uh, we also have the metro that's uh, the metro. We also have the ferry that's running backwards and forwards. But we've got some fantastic suggestions from you to try and negate the traffic that we've got and that is one of the challenges for today is trying to reduce the traffic running backwards and forwards and get the city back on an even keel again and we may even get some preparatory work for the university that's going to be built over here as well so looking at a couple of the comments from the last episode uh hepcat said with literally half of the population living on the island i'd suggest another way of crossing over to the mainland ideally a train or a metro line that one underground road will struggle with the demand even after the initial rush of people moving in, since most of the people living on the island have a commute to the industry area over the mainland. That is true. We could add some offices and industry to the island, but I think some way across would be a great idea. Also, Josh Frank said having a metro running back and forth with a high capacity trains would solve traffic and issue access issue to the island. So I think the metro is the way we're going to be going. Uh, Vic... Is that Vicky Roth said perhaps a metro line with an above water connection from the mainland to the island would also help with moving people between the two. And I think all of those are fantastic suggestions. Also, Nicole said a separate ferry loop around the island and one with a point to point back to the mainland would help perhaps high capacity metro as well. Loving the service. Thank you very much for your comments. So at the moment, the ferry loops around the island, goes back to the main island, comes back round again. So I'm thinking maybe of separating these two out into a loop here and then one backwards and forwards to our main terminal. There was thoughts about other terminals, maybe over here and further down, which I think maybe are going a little bit too far at the moment with the population of our city. But if we need those, we'll see what we can do. Let's stop emptying that. So let's just change up this loop, first of all. So here's our ferry line. If we have a look at that, we've got lots of people there, lots of trains and absolutely thousands of people over here, which are trying to get all over the place. So what we're going to do is pause the game. We're going to delete that line and then set up our loop. So let me do that. We'll delete big rubber ducky loop. That is not the one. That was almost a big mistake. Ferry line. There we go. Fantastic. And then we'll turn this into a loop. There we go. And we'll join that in there. And then we'll have the loops going around here. Let me just set those up. There we go. So we've got a clack, a clockwise, a clockwise and an anti-clockwise loop going around here. But they both sort of meet at the same point over here. So we'll see how that goes. We might add in one of the larger terminals with the two uh, stops. And then I'm just thinking for the point to point one over here. Um, if we go from, no, nope, we want this one here. If we go from there into... Well, I don't want to bring all the traffic into here and then up and down again. So I think it might just have to go. Are they going to have to go all the way around to turn around? They can turn around just at the end there. Hmm, that is a little bit odd, isn't it? Maybe we could find a better place for that. Just looking at this side of the city over here, we have our tram network that comes through here, which we could extend up to the front. And then that would take you through the city, take you to the stadium, take you to anywhere else, and also to the other uh, ferry stops that are around here. So maybe we could just add uh, one little stop in here. It's going to take a little bit of jiggery pokery, but I think we should be able to get this lined up. Uh, oh, I was going to do that funny thing with the wall. And if we had the anarchy mod, that would be fantastic. We could do that, but unfortunately we don't. There we go. Change that to the normal key wall. Then we can drop that in there. Excellent. That would be good. And then we can sort of line up these roads. Unfortunately, the ferry uh, tram connection isn't going to be able to come right in there. Or do we have a hub that could solve that problem for us? Yes, we do. We have the ferry tram hub. Okay, well, let's see whether we can fit that on here yeah that's going to go in there nicely then that's got the tram road built into the back which is exactly what we want and then our ferry stop there fantastic and then we could just grab this road here it's not going to let me upgrade that bit is it nope let's see what we can do here darn it far too close um yeah we're gonna have to sort of come around the outside here instead aren't we and hope that that just 
whoops i did not mean to delete that i was actually trying, <laughs> I was trying to upgrade the road uh, let's grab that road again and draw these in I'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it really close yeah there we go hopefully we don't lose any buildings i'm gonna just leave that like that and then we're gonna hook this let's grab this one hook that back around where's the metro down there can we go straight down excellent that's good so we've now got connection to the metro as well oh, i've said metro like 50 times haven't i i actually mean tram um, so then let's get our tram line. We've got two tram lines. I think we do, don't we? Yeah, let's grab this one. And we're going to bring that down there. Does that work? That looks, loops around. Yeah, maybe the other side of the road. There we go. Excellent. And I think that should be okay. And then if anybody wants to get off and join the other line, going in the other direction, we're sorted. And then all we need to do is get our ferry connected up for a point to point over here. Okay, there we go. That's all three sorted. Now, we weren't using the basic ferry because that had 80. We were using sort of this one up here. I think I'm going to leave it on the basic one so we get plenty of those. I'm not sure how many vehicles that's going to add in on each of those. Three on that. I mean, we just know that is not going to be enough. And then three on that. But let's just leave it going and see what happens. Now, looking at the city as a whole, we do have metro lines that run through here. And I'm just wondering whether we could use this little hub that we've got. We've got our metro, we've got our trolley buses all meet over here. And whether we could repurpose that to bring a metro stop over here to the stadium, because that's the one that really gives us the big problem. And then everybody's coming out of here, they're jumping into their pocket cars and all that sort of thing. So if we could somehow, and replace some of the trees as well, if we could somehow change this one into some sort of double, I was thinking of doing an above ground one, but I think we're going to go for a tunnel board underground. Why not? Just to make that interesting. Let's have a look, see if I've got a nice double one that will fit in here. So we're just going to pause the game and I'm going to remove this one here. Excellent. We'll get rid of those trees. And then we do have this nice one here that has the double loops. If I could put that the other way, that would actually line up better, wouldn't it? So I'm just going to delete those two lines there. <laughs> those poor trains underground. We're going to sort of, mm, yeah, line that up as best we can to one side. Maybe put a bit of park in there. And then we're going to connect all of this up underground. There we go and i'm hoping the stops are just going to jump across to over there they should do let's just run that for a second we should kick in it's thinking about it the lines there the other one yeah there we go we're all sorted excellent that's good there we go very good and then we can take this line over here and we're going to run that underground and meet up over here somewhere i mean i think just a normal underground metro station would be perfectly fine i'm thinking of popping that and that's close to here as possible we can't get it outside so how far away do i need to be i need to be there yep we'll do that and then we'll hook that up as well yeah so having a few issues getting the metro up this because this ground here is so low down and then the island is so high up why didn't i flatten the isle of roy when i first had the chance it's like a flipping fortress trying to get in and out of here so trying to find a slopey part of land that i own to get from here to down here is becoming a bit of a pickle i might just need to sort of <laughs> slope all of this down a little bit um let's just see what we can do let's use the slope tool oh i think we're going to be able to do it i think we're going to be able to do it we can find somewhere yeah there we go excellent so we can join these up let's go from there to here excellent and now we can connect this up as well very good so that is definitely going to take a lot of the load Put that a bit more of a curved connection there there we go that is definitely going to take a lot of the load off of the people coming backwards and forwards and we're going to go to there and we're going to go back again excellent so i will name all those color them up and then we'll see how it runs. Okay, so we've got the direct line, Valley over here, Valley Hills to Roy. Then we've got Roy counterclockwise and Roy clockwise. And then for our Metro, we've got the big rubber ducky loop in town. But we've got Lilac to Hawthorne. 
our direct one and i'm thinking for here we want something that's quick but got a big capacity i mean it's going to be sort of perhaps a little bit of a juggle but we're going to go with the 400 we'll see how that one goes that's added how many vehicles onto that it's going to add two so we'll see how that keeps up with things and i'm hoping that over the course of a little bit of time that all of that will be taken care of and it will be fine how's it looking over here not too weird and slopey nope it's doing okay how's things looking over here ah, we could do a little bit of decorating around that later but that really is starting to hook together all of the different networks we've got the trolley buses with the metro with the ferry and with the tram on the isle of roy right so let's turn our attention to this new piece of land over here that i asked you guys to sort of put votes in the comments about what we should use this for oh and just before we do that we'll have a and also say a quick sip of tea just before we dive into that i wanted just to work on this little issue that we've got going on down here so these cars are all being slowed down if you look the traffic i mean it's 87 percent, but this will back up a little bit more because they stop the vanilla uh, the way the vanilla game works is this car won't move forward until it knows that there's space after the node um if we had traffic manager you could uh, use the tool that just makes them keep going because there's no problem with blocking this side is there and it's the same over here you could just carry on you just carry on but they don't so what we're going to do is just pause this a uh, second and we're going to slightly change some of the roads around so i'm going to grab a rural road as that's nice and thin we're going to bring out here at an angle as close as we can get like that we're going to do the same over here connect that up and then we're going to make this a little one-way loop just to sort of get around this fact so if we grab oh that one should work hang on let's just do that again yeah there we go no problem upgrading that so then we get two lanes going up that way and then we're going to also have we'll leave that as a four lane because we need people going both directions and then i think what we'll probably do is grab the three lane in this direction and there so we've got a dedicated right turn i mean we do have the middle lane doing both not much we can do about that and then extra lanes here so that's its own little mini loop and if we just sort of speed that up what we should find is they're still going to stop here and not cross this node but these are going to just keep moving through here a little bit quicker and hopefully just stop it backing up coming out of the tunnel down there i mean it's there's a lot of traffic to get through but uh yeah i think overall that is going to move a lot smoother so over to our lovely piece of land that we've got over here university was the most voted for option we can see we've got plenty of space to work with so we're going to need connections to our possibly metro tram something like that to come into here to bring people in we're going to want to connect over here to bradley heights because there's four and a half thousand people living there lots of people living here isle of roy possibly will get that connection hooked up maybe through our little um metro transit hub thing we've got going on uh, the needs that we've got for university yeah we do have a lot of needs so nearly seven thousand eligible we only have four thousand eight hundred as a capacity so we've popped one of these down here which may get removed and replaced and over here we might leave this one here because that's a long way to travel but we'll see how we go i'd also like to just work on this land a little bit over here and have a couple of different things going on so we're going to have a park area i think coming through here and taking in all of these trees which i think will be nice Madison meadows we will name that zoink in a moment and then we're going to have our campus area which is going to give a connection right up to this park over here probably enough space i mean we could take up all of this but i think that's going to be a huge campus if we do so maybe i'm just going to shave that back a little bit down there there we go we can reclaim some of the space i might just shave some of that back over there as well excellent campus area which university we're going to go for i've looked back through my videos as to which ones we've used before and we have used i think the trade school was the last one i used the one before that was the liberal arts so we're going to go for the university campus and we get our university admin building but let's get some roads and connections into here as well so i was looking around at maybe trying to change this junction up here make it into a, a much bigger one with access across the other side but i don't really want to put any more burden on these roads here 
which we're going to have a little tinker with those in a moment. But we've got this road access that went up here, um, which I think is really going to help. So let us unlock uh, another tile over here, which will give us some nice extra frontage along this river. And then we're going to take, let's pause things at the moment. What have we got there? Six lane, oh, that's trolley buses going all the way around. Ooh, do we extend the trolley bus network? round here into this area or do we keep that separate i'm just wondering at the moment if we can keep that separate that might be a better idea so that's a six lane road if you want to add it later uh we can always add that on can't we so let's just grab a standard six lane road i'm gonna have that come off of here and this can snake around this way There we go, very good. And that's given us our roadway access in from that side. I also want some roads to go over the top from down here, but not to be huge main roads. Um, at one point, I did say about sinking this highway down, but I, I quite like the fact that we can see it there. I'm just looking at this road that goes through here, just thinking, could we make that a larger road? Or even, mm, let's have a look one a bit further along could we get this one over the top let's just grab that but then i'm going to up that to the four lane road and just see that is very big i'm just seeing whether we're going to get over the top there i'm not entirely sure that we are going to be able to get into the middle yeah if i could do something like that but a little bit further up here we can curve into that how high is that over the top oh that is far too high let's go down a blob yeah, there we go. We've got it in the end. There's an extra height on this side, so we need that a bit taller. And then that will bring a road in there, which I wanted really to sort of curve along here, sort of hmm, parallel to the highway without getting rid of any of the rocks. How close could we get? And then we could sort of swoop that in there, and that gives some connection there. Um, <laughs> let's see if I can get this to uh, match up in a way that makes sense. I mean, I don't think that's too bad, is it? That gives access over the top there. Then we've got this road here. I'm going to keep that going at that angle because I like that. And then this one's going to keep coming down at this angle. And then we'll work out what we're going to do around the path. Um, around the park, I should say. And then we've got this section here where I would like some sort of road to go straight across. Although we don't have straight across here anymore, do we? Because of this road. Yeah, I think what we'll just do is we'll rely on this road going over here. This road going over here should be enough. What I would like to do is upgrade this to bicycle. I've turned that into a four-lane road, but I don't think that is necessarily going to be needed. So what I'm going to do is grab this one here. Excellent, that's what we want. And then this road over here doesn't need to be this big. Uh, we are also going to get, let's have a look. I want a four-lane bike road, this one here. There we go, and we'll upgrade that all the way along as well. There we go, excellent. So we're definitely getting all the biking going everywhere. And then for this road that leads over into this area, Bradley Heights, we've now got this uh, road that we can use with the trees, the trolley bus wires, and the bicycle lanes. That should be okay. And then we can add some bike lanes into here as well yeah go on let's just do that now let's use this one and then i'd like some sort of road network to go around this park area here so i'm thinking maybe something like this there we go just a little something uh to yeah i like uh, sort of mirrors the shapes that we've got going over here with the the loops and the slopes and the things like that so very good so what we can do is we can pop in our park main gate which is going to go right there. So that park is now going to get a name. And yeah, then we're going to pop in our first university building. So as we said, we're going for the standard university campus. I really wanted that to go hmm, somewhere sort of in the middle here. I bet we can do it here, can't we? We line that up in the middle there. Boink. There we go. And that is going to be really nice. Backing onto there. And then we've got all these nice roads coming out this way with bikes and trees. We can switch up the trees if we wish. But yeah, you can walk across here and get to the park, which is fantastic. So, have I used the right one here? Yeah, University Campus. Excellent. 
Now we need to get some names. Oh, it started a new campus area. I knew that was going to happen. Let me sort that out. So the two names that we're going to take from my lovely patron supporters. First of all, it's going to be this one here. It's going to be the Swannel Campus of Yugoslavia. Thank you very much for your support. And then for our park, we're going to take this one here. We're going to lose the alliteration, but I don't mind. Beedham Meadows. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon as well. Links below if you wish to do that. Let me get some water in this area. There we go. Water sorted. Power will sort itself when we get there. So let's just have a look at some of the other buildings that we've got to place. So we've got the university dormitories, um, which, if I remember correctly, hold 300 each. How much does this hold? What have we got? Let's have a look over here. What have we got capacity wise? Uh, expenses. Oh, it's been so long since I built a university. There we go. We get 500 students straight off. Uh, we have a capacity of quite a few. So maybe let's just build this up. So I think some of these give us capacity 400. They give us zero. That gives us 50. And then we've got this down here. The School of Law gives us 1,000. That is a lovely big building and that is going to go if it can right in the middle up here if i get this lined up nice and straight i think that oh, that's going to be fantastic looking down there opposite our main hall i'm going to leave these free and then maybe we're going to use some of the outside areas for our other buildings let's scroll up good job we've been saving up the money so this is going to be a nice park area so we can fit a couple of these in here can I fit two? We can't. With the Anarchy mod, we would have been able to, but unfortunately not. So we'll get those as close as we can there. And I'm going to go another one that side and another one this side. And we'll just check what that's going to take us up to. Still, still 500. These add in 300 each. Maybe it's something to do with the fact there's no electricity and they're not kicking in just yet. Let me hook all of these up. There we go, all powered up. Let's see, still 500. Why are these not adding to the, I feel like I'm missing something else here. They're all inside the campus. They all should give us, so that should give us a thousand. Then these should give us 300 each. And that should go up, but it only says 500. I feel like I'm missing something. What we're gonna do is we're gonna keep going and see what happens. Uh, we could also incentivize some people to come in here. So healthcare, free healthcare. So we've got to keep an eye on our money. So we're making some at the moment. Free lunch. We'll try that as well. Visiting scholars, increase faculty bonus, increase faculty upkeep. I might just leave that for now. We can't do universal, universal education. Uh, we could just drop this in. Oh, per academic staff a week. No, we're not going to do that. Let's maybe hire, we've got five, let's maybe, yeah, let's maybe up that to ten. What's that going to cost us? Five thousand a week, we can't afford that. Let's do three thousand a week. And then a research grant, we're going to do that, because that's just a one-off fee, and we can do that no problem. So hopefully, once we get all of these high enough, current level out of, oh, that's what it is, it's the level, isn't it? So the capacity is down here, look at that, I completely missed that, that is the level to get all of them over here and the attractiveness. So yeah, we'll be working on that over the course of the school year. Very good, very good. Are there any other items we can add in? Yes, there is. So we've got the groundskeeping, which I think will be very good down here somewhere by the park. That's not in the campus area. Well, it could be in the campus area. If we just expand this down here, that is now, and I'm deliberately offsetting them that's fine for a bit of a look. And then the futsal club. And we've also got the study hall as well. How big is that? Oh, that is pretty big. So I'm just wondering whether we could pop a couple of study halls in here. We'll work on the land. That's good. Then the rest of that's going to be park around there. And then we've got the futsal club. We could sort of pop that over here. We could pop in two of those. One for each of these little areas. There we go. And I'm sure we would have hit our attractiveness. Yeah, we're well over the limit on that. And students are coming in and everybody's happy. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is shutting this down over here. Because we want these students to travel all the way up to here. And I think this is where we need to try and make sure we've got our metro and everything else hooked up. 
So let's do that. So I'd like to make use of the spare connections that we've got around the place. So we've got one over here. Let's go below ground again. Thank you kindly. Oh man, is this going to be an issue trying to get across this river again? <laughs> like we had last time. Who remembers that? Well, let's see. If we can get down into here somewhere, that will be good. And then if we can get... Oh man, this is going to be the longest tunnel in the world. Oh, 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 we're above ground. There we go, excellent. So that can come straight into over here without too much messing. Let's get that 180 degrees. Then we'll sort of curve that round somewhere into there. And then we've also got uh, where we've put our new double station. We've got this, which is on the wrong side. Um, but we have to have this one connected up to go along here. And if we switched it around, that one would be on the wrong side. So what we could try and do... It's come underneath. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Excellent. So then we can just sort of swing that around like in a big curve. And then we're going to appear in there. And then we've got two that we can connect together. So again, we could probably use the parallel underground metro station. Uh, let's just see where could that go. I don't think we want that right by where people are sleeping and all the different things. So maybe hmm, right here next to the park could work quite well so you can come out you can walk you can go over there you can do what you like i think that'll be fine and then we can hook both of those up in fact let's go into this view here there we go in fact we can even have a line for each of these which i think will work very well there we go excellent so then we can grab this line we'll have one line going from there all the way through to there and back again excellent and then we'll have one going from that side all the way through to here I can get it in there. There we go. And back again. No, that didn't connect up. I had a sneaky feeling that these two tunnels here, yeah, there we go. They didn't connect up today. So let's just sort that out. There we go. Excellent. So we'll do that again. That one from there. It's all the way over here. So we're really stacking up on our transit to get around the place. Very good. Let me just color those and name them. There we go. So we've now got Bradley to uh, bead them down here and then we've got Lilac to bead them as well which is fantastic. So that's keeping the naming convention going. Which one have we got here? We've got the 500 Metro. I'm pretty sure what we don't want to do is over have too much capacity because you do pay extra for these. So I'm thinking we're going to go for the 240 Metro. Uh, in both of these see how it goes uh how many vehicles is it going to put on each of those three sounds quite a lot i'm going to go down to two that's bradley and this is lilac is already on two and then we'll see how that goes talking about how things are going i've sort of upped the amount of trolley buses on my line to keep things going my uh trams are going really well but i just want to have a look at this our ferries are being well used so the counterclockwise is keeping up with it very nicely which is good this one's going to come by come by come by and take all of those people which is great the clockwise not much use but i've got three on there so they're nicely spread out and then our direct route from valley over here valley hills over to the isle of roy was super super busy but we've added a couple more extra to that and that has really helped. And if we just have a look at the road going underground, there we go. This is not half as busy as it one as it was before. This is moving nicely now. We've got less and less people coming up here. This is, I don't like the way that this hits into each other because to be honest, if you were gonna come out and go elsewhere, you could use this junction. So I've been thinking for a while that I'm just gonna make, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna make this road here uh, a tunnel underneath. I think that's what we're going to do. So let's just get rid of all of these. There we go. I think that is going to be much better. And then, as I said, anybody needs to get up here can go around that way. We could maybe... I mean, we can't really squeeze any extra lanes in there. But it's just going to mean that all of this is moving. Let's come down here a lot, lot quicker. We do have a little cut through there, which is slowing down those ones. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. is We're going to take that and we're going to pop this little cut through here now that we've got that space there we go we'll take that away oh no hang on a sec that was the trolley buses do we need them to come all the way down here that is literally just a little cut through isn't it so if i grab this and upgrade that cannot upgrade to this type oh, i want to know what i need to do is downgrade these two don't i yeah that'll be fine let's Grab this road here and downgrade these. There we go. So the trolley bus turns around there, which is fine. We didn't have any stops down there anyway. 
and looks like we just need to fill in at this little bit of a gap here there we go excellent so now this should just keep moving along here and really help with the traffic and hopefully it doesn't overload this section um, and we've still got our walking path over here which just needs to be extended just a little bit each side we'll come along there there we go so people can still walk over the top excellent things are looking good things are looking up so to get up to the next level ah fantastic we've gone right over our capacity of students which is good and more will be coming in attractiveness so now it's just the academic works which we've given a grant um so hopefully we'll get two as the year comes round. but we'll have to see as that happens now i don't really want to spend any more money building this and making it cost any more because what is the price expenses seventeen thousand. yes yeah, so we're still making money we're doing okay but i think it's time for a little bit of detailing So there we go. What do you think of the university? And it ended up being a sports field as well. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe. So you'll be here for all of the new City Skylines 1 and City Skylines 2 news. And I'm sure videos at some point coming your way. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.